Well, Coach, it's day five of practice for Endicott. Uh, where are you guys at right now? It's been a uh, pretty good first couple days. Uh, the, obviously, the first the acclimation, you got your first two days with the helmets, then you do uh, day three, day four with the uppers. So this will be the first day we're able to go full pack, which will be our full contact day. Uh, I think it's been pretty good. The first couple of days, you're working on installation on offense, defense, special teams, working on which guys you know can do certain things. Uh, it's been exciting to kind of see the guys start to gel and mix in together. We've had some good days and some bad days, and uh, I think today, as we talk about, a lot of times they're so anxious to finally get to full contact that sometimes they forget about the execution part. So that's my goal today: is that as we get in and we evaluate who can bite a little bit as we go full contact, also still see as we've been installing who can still remember their assignments and their assignments. How do you ramp up towards the weekend and heading into the next week with practice? Yep, so we're obviously being cognizant of making sure we're trying to get them as fresh as possible while still getting them in those game situations. So pretty much from here on out, every practice will have a certain focus for a game or multiple focuses in. So whether it's a short yardage or if it's third and long, if it's a score zone, dead zone period. So that's what we're going to try to do for the next couple of days. Um, we're leading up to our inner squad scrimmage where we, uh, we have a little fun with the guys. They kind of pick two different teams and we have a fun competition there. And then ultimately looking at next weekend as we go out and actually scrimmage someone for real, um, it's, it's going to be on us pretty quickly. So we're trying to maximize every moment we can. How would you, uh, par you know, describe the outlook for the team this year heading into league and conference and non-conference play? Yeah, just the way it worked out this year with the realignment. I mean, our conference is strong as ever, but we're going to have uh, five non-conference games and then five league games. So we almost kind of split the season in half as almost two different seasons. You know, uh, we're going to be as aggressive as possible. And if you look at our schedule, we're going to have one of the toughest schedules in the country again, which is one of our theories on where we want to go with our program. So out the gate, we're really looking at as young as we're going to be. Um, majority of our roster is freshmen and sophomores. Uh, we're going to try to get out there and, and see how we stack up against some very strong non-conference opponents right away and get some of these younger guys some experience. And then I think right at midseason, hopefully we're going to be coming into our own as we start into league play, which is always, uh, you know, every game is going to be highly contended and we feel like there's going to be a lot of depth in our conference as well. So it should be an exciting process. And I think our goal, as young as we are, is hopefully you're going to see a noticeable improvement from game in and game out. But by the time we're at the end of the season, we're almost a completely different team.